Last time on Almost Everything, Seth and the gang arrived at the North Pole, where they met Miss Claus, who ruled over a colony of bears in her ice palace. They bumped into Beatnik, who seemed to be in some sort of trance. They went to an elf who told them a scary story which frightened Emily, and why are we doing one of these prologues now? We didn't do it in the previous two episodes. Does it? Oh, Alright, whatever. Here's the episode. Emily, there you are. You can't go running off like that. What's wrong? You're, you're not scared, are you? I mean, it's okay if you are. Alright. Well, we're gonna meet Santa soon. Are, are you excited? Uh-huh. That a girl. Come on. I found her. She was just in the other room. Oh, thank goodness. Well, don't worry, Emily. We're not telling any more scary stories. And on the plus side, Beatnik is here. Although, he hasn't said much. The giraffes will kill us all, Beatnik! Don't trust the giraffes! Oh! Hmm. Also, while you were gone, we got some suggestions from YouTube. Corey Lewis comments, Enchanted Forest, and she put five explanation points. She must be serious. Voidless Soul comments, Toy Story. We, uh, assume that you mean Toy Store, but just in case, here's a clip from Toy Story. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. Hmm, well, the toy store is closer, so two of you grab hold of Beatnik and let's go. This is the forbidden area of the toy store, where our more experimental works are created. We have all the standards, exploding jacks, a fidget spinner that if you hold over your head and spin will make you fly up in the air like a helicopter. And over here, we have Weasley's Magic Soda Pops. I think you remember this one, don't you, Seth? One drink from one of these, and you will gain the body part of any animal. The trunk of an elephant, the neck of a giraffe, or the head of a dragon. May, may I say something? I, I'm just gonna say it. Does, does soda really count as a toy? Well, they're toys the way we use them. In fact, I'm in the need for some fun. Ah! You see? Now I have a hankering for some carrots. <laughs> Just a little joke of mine. We also have the duplicating rubber duckies around here somewhere, although they've been running wild lately. <laughs> now, this is my personal favorite, the all-around bouncy ball. A mischievous little fellow this one is. Well, Maybe mischief is the wrong word. Wherever it bounces, the most interesting things possible happen. In fact... Hard to believe this thing caused World War II. Now we have what I consider to be the most important. Every elf is gifted a sheet from Santa's list, and all they have to do is say the name of the person. For instance, Harold Douglas, and the thing that person wants most appears. Harold Douglas wants Sudoku, and Emily Douglas wants 
Sudoku. Emily, you wanted Sudoku too? Uh huh. So now I'm going to let each of you have one of these gifts. Go on, choose among yourselves. Ah, oh, sweet. Far out. <sighs> well, we'll have to play with these later because it is time for us to go. For you at home, we're not taking any more suggestions. We're going to Corey Lewis's place, and that's it. You better prepare yourselves for the enchanted forest as secrets. Things that, well, wish to be forgotten. Ducks. We also have this harmonica. It doesn't do anything though, it's just a regular harmonica. <laughs>